Hello and welcome to the reshoot of a past ADM designing tutorial I did a while ago. Since the first filming, I have gotten a better computer, so that should help the quality issue with the visuals that I had before, so that my mouse clicks, clicks etc. are clear and easy to follow. Also, since the initial shoot, others have asked some questions or offered solutions to some problems that others have run into. So as I said in the first video, I had been looking for this for a while now on how to make a character in Blender and then transfer it to Clip Studio Paint. And I did find the method. Uh, you have to make it an FBX file first. I'm going to make a really simple little character here with just boxes, extruding the faces, and then adding a basic armature to that, and then exporting it to Clip Studio Paint. Once you have your character made, turn on wireframe mode so that you can see the interior of your character or item. You can hit Shift A once in object mode and you will be able to add the armature bone by bone to your character and make sure it is in the center from every angle so that it tugs or adjusts your character correctly from every angle. Here's our simple armature. All we did was extrude all the bones to go where we needed them to control our character or item. Make sure the armature is centered, then we will parent them. Make sure to select your object first and the armature second. Uh, next, hit Control p to parent that, then turn on automatic weights. Now you can move your character around easily in pose mode. It twists, it turns, etc. depending on the detail of your armature. The reason my character or object is so simple is because this tutorial is simply to show how to transfer or bring over a 3D object in Eclipse Studio. If you search YouTube, there are tons of videos on creating complex and awesome characters. I'll add a simple material so that we can see the object clearly once we move it over. Then go to File Export as FBX and save it to your files, documents, desktop, wherever you like and name it whatever you want. Then select Export as FBX and open Clip Studio Paint. Izor commented with a fix on the last video as far as importing textures with your object. You need to do this by putting your textures on a zip file and moving them over that way. Go to File Import to find your file or drag and drop it. You can't drag and drop a regular Blender file as it will give you an error, but you can drag and drop the FBX one you created. Um, also, some people did state that when they tried to do import through the normal method, file import in Clip Studio Paint, their armature did not come through correctly. So you may want to do the drag and drop method as the preferred and best method. Once you drop it in there, as you can see, you can grab all of the bones you made, pose it, Make it big, small, just like you can with the 3D objects that are already in Clip Studio. Now you can set up your scene for drawing or whatever it is you need to do. 